Greetings, RC Model Geeks. And here we are in the shed yet again for part three of the Sen Dalmatian Lady two channel glider build. Right, I thought I would do the horizontal stabilizer this morning. Um, one good feature of this, uh, this kit. Uh, is that the different sub-assemblies come in their own packets so you know which bits you need and this is the packet for the horizontal stabiliser all the parts are in there and they're all pre-cut to the right lengths so all you have to do is stick them together what a brilliant idea <laughs> shame it was thought of 30 years ago Oh, and there's Bix the Phil on the phone. Right, yes, that was uh, Bix the Phil, just phoning up to uh, to find out whether he still had a job as uh, chief gluer after my experiments with the old uh, syringe there. So anyway, I've just dry assembled uh, the uh, horizontal stab and the uh, elevator. Um, so this is straight out of that packet, yeah? I mean, you know, this is how kit manufacturers <laughs> used to do it. You know, everything spot bollock on. Uh, remember, no laser cutting in this. This is all ha hand done. Uh, and they've even, on the elevator, uh, don't know how well this will show up, but they've actually pre-rounded the elevator uh, there see if it will uh, show up very well and it's pre-tapered as well it's not gonna focus on that of course but yeah there you go look at that beautiful that's how it used to be done back in the day lovely right so my job for this morning is uh, to make that So, I'll be back with you when I've done it. Okay, we're uh, nipping along quite nicely this morning. So that is the horizontal stabiliser and the elevator done. Yeah, wicked. That's, uh, that's quite good. Now, do I do the wing panel tips or do I do the fuselage? That is the question. Oh, a difficult one. <laughs> um, mm, well, back with you in a minute and we'll see. Right, you guessed it. It's the fuselage. Uh, we should be able to finish that today quite easily. So, first things first, um, we need to get this doubler glued onto that fuselage side there. And then obviously the same with the other side, making an opposite side. Now, on this design, um, we've got to stick this little bit of wood here um, when we make it uh, into there like that, all the way round. Um, as you can see on the drawing uh, here, it's, uh, it's basically this little bit here which is this little square here. So, um, the way I'm going to do it, because I want to get this as accurate as possible, even though it's only a you know, two-channel glider, um, what I am going to do, because you've got to line this doubler up in the right place to give you that clearance top and bottom, for this part, what I'm going to do is glue that to that first uh, on the bottom and on the top and that will make it easier to line up over the main side of the fuselage. So I'm going to get on with that and I'll come back to you. So there we go, that is one side uh ready so all i've got to do is complete the other side and we can get the thing joined together i just had to pop out to the old uh, local hardware store 
Uh, I had to go and buy some new uh, glue because the old wood glue that I had has, uh, has seen better days. And uh, and I had to get some uh, super glue as well because I'd run out of that. Um, interestingly, four pounds ninety nine they were charging for that super glue. And I know in bulk it's about two pounds or something like that if you buy a box of twenty five. Um, but yeah, four ninety nine, big markup. And then ironically, this massive bottle of uh, wood glue which I don't know where it says half a litre half a litre of uh, wood glue £3.99 that's the uh, bargain of the century that stuff so yeah, there you go uh, right I'm going to get on and do the uh, second side I think Bixler Phil's coming over this afternoon so um, I might teach him how to use the, uh, the syringe rather than the paintbrush so let's see, uh, see what happens. Back soon. I have been busy. There are the two sides stuck together. And Bixler Phil's here. Good afternoon. <laughs> he's come to see whether he's still got a job after my uh, discovery of the new gluing method. Oh, he's got a new gluing method. He not need me anymore. <laughs> we'll have to see what you're like with a syringe. We know you're syringe? pretty. Yeah, we know you're pretty dangerous with um, epoxy bottles. So <laughs> um, we'll have to see what you're like with a syringe. Oh yes. Syringe. So anyway, yeah, we've got that done. There was a bit of an upfuck. Um, luckily, not my fault. Um, one of the fuselage sides uh, was actually curved. And it was well, it was curved along this way, so this was going up like that. Yeah. Um, and it's a it's a solid one piece bit of wood, so it was uh, you know it was basically warped over the years. Um, oh, now the only way to fix that because it was a long way out, it was about uh, down here. It was probably about ten mil out height wise. Mm. So what I had to do. Chop. Yes, yeah, so I had to do a chop. Um, it's actually chopped pretty much all the way down and then sprung in uh, to get the rear to line up. And then there is a strengthening a bodge in there, which is uh, a bit of plywood. Yeah. Uh, that was the only way to do it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but that, uh, that sorted itself out. Lovely jubbly. So... Uh, the next thing is to get the top and bottom on, and I would guess. So uh, we'll go and do that, and then Phil can try his hand at uh, gluing with a syringe. Oh, that'd be new. Yeah, it will be. Is this this thing here? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell! I'll tell you what. Somebody wanted to know the diameter. Let's have a. Let's uh, let's get the old vernier out on that. Uh, zero millimeters. Uh, and that is 1.5 oh no 1. 1.6 1.5 outside diameter let's see if you'll guess mine which is hang on let's see what that is imperial for all the american folk out there yeah but it's point, point 0.6 or point zero six sixty thou Right, yes. 60 cell? Yeah. How much is that? Yeah, so I don't know what that is in wire gauge. What's a spark and plug? Less than that. Um, I don't know what that is in wire gauge. Um, I'm sure somebody can do the conversion and tell us. It looks, I mean, it looks like 16 gauge to me. Um, but it, it, it might be 14. Right, anyway, back in a bit when I've done some more for this fuselage. Here we go. Dr. Bixler with his big syringe. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you put me off now, don't I? Made a, uh, you made a mistake now. Splurge. Right, this bit in the front is the bit I've done. Uh, let's have a look at Phil's. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's dripping. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. It's not as neat, but, you know, first go and all that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've sort of got my big hands ready. Well, you know... <laughs> I, I thought it'd be ideal for your big hands, that. <laughs> well, you've got all up to there, you went to. Oh, dropped a bit in there, then. Oh, come on, mate. 
Uh, yes, sir, 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 sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, ignore that bit now, mate. <laughs> now that bit's gone wrong. You carry on somewhere else. I'll, I'll just pick up the pieces afterwards. It's yeah, all right. Okay, yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, not as... A bit wibbly-wobbly, I would say, there, mate. It's all about precision, which you're not very good at. Well, you need practice, don't you? Well... Yeah, I think you're going a little bit fast. There's your problem there, mate. Oh, well, you know, don't hang about me. Well, that's the problem, yeah. <laughs> a bit more in there. <laughs> Fair enough, then. Yeah. This isn't an example of how to do it, by the way. No. <laughs> how not to? Uh, Carl Phil, you can do it, mate. <laughs> oh, we'll come back to you when something's happened. <laughs> right, so that is it, isn't it, Phil? That's it. We're yep. calling it a day. Yeah. Uh, it's horrible and cold and wet and dark outside, nearly. Dreadful. Tucking it down, it's freezing, isn't it? And yeah, so uh, back again tomorrow for the next exciting install of the Sen Dalmatian Lady Two Channel Glider Build. Yep. Say goodbye, Phil. Au revoir. See you later. Phil I'm learning been, French, you see. Phil's been studying French. <laughs> it's as far as he got. <laughs> <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.